Greetings YouTube and welcome to one of the most requested videos in the history of my three plus year old Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel. We are less than one week away from July uh, 4th, second coming. July 4th, second coming, otherwise known as Cyber Weekend, where you take the July 4th offers and hopefully improve upon them. And uh, I didn't want to do this before we were a week away and now we are less than a week away technically from the 2020 Cyber Weekend offers. So we will put all of this into context for you. And I have to say as a disclaimer that this is going to be a discussion based off of the highest progression level that we've seen gifts appear in. That's not to say that there isn't value in talking about uncollected or proven or conqueror, but for the sake of this video, to make sure it's not 30 minutes long, we're just going to focus on what was Cavalier and will now hopefully be Thronebreaker. I'm also going to do two separate videos to keep this shorter uh, and short being a relative term. I'll do a predictions and wish list video right before Cyber Weekend next week, but I wanted to give some context to give people an idea of why they should wait and continue to hoard their units for at least another week. So what you're seeing in front of you was Cyber Weekend 2019. And this was the first time we ever saw progression-based offers in the contest. It's hard to uh, maybe remember or easy to forget uh, that for a long time, these holiday offers were uh, not progression-based. Everybody got the same thing. The other thing that might be easy to forget is that until last year, uh, it wasn't Cyber Weekend offers. It was Black Friday had a very pathetic two-year straight Tier 4 basic offer and then cyber monday was when we saw the big offers but they changed the format which then they continued for july 4th weekend where they put the offers out on friday they give people the incentive to maybe finally progress to a, to the next level or two next levels in some people's cases and then to continue to get uh, those rewards on multiple progression levels, which is certainly, if you've got the cash, the way to go. Uh, so Peter Parker's wallet a year ago, you had 256 star shards, 4,500 tier five basic, which was crazy at the time because I remember when they would routinely charge uh, five plus zero, as in $50 for tier five basic callus fragments of 4,500 and then a pathetic amount of gold. $10 got you almost a fully formed tier two alpha and then three tier four basic, 506 star shards and some gold. Uh, after that, you had the Tony Stark's briefcase, which got you 60 plus one five-star six stones, which was crazy awesome. 9,000 tier five basic callus fragments, 1,500 six-star hero crystal shards, and again, a pathetic amount of gold. And then you had Black Panther's treasure getting you three tier two alpha, which at that point was crazy. We had never seen tier two alpha for less than $20 a piece. Plus, you got the 1,450 units. That, that's why these holidays are so crazy. Because if you took out the units, these would be A offers by themselves already. But when you add in that these offer items are technically just bonus items with the units you already get, it becomes just a joke where people rush and ask for their Christmas money uh, a month in advance. We also got to form a fully formed Tier 5 Basic Callist if you bought all three with 15,000 Tier 5 Basic Callist fragments per Black Panther's treasure. And then uh, also still the weirdest part about this was the the gold amount. But hey, how about those 10 generic six star six stones, which they still now expect you to pay $50 for by themselves with no extra items or units on a quote unquote normal day. And then the $100 offer, the Odin offer, got you a five star Nexus crystal, half of a six star, a fully formed tier five basic, and some gold. That was uh, at the time unheard of. A year ago, that was just breaking everybody's brains. And if you were not at least uncollected, you were really uh, motivated to grind for the next progression title and take rewards and take advantage of these rewards, I should say. Now, of course, there are two different offers on these days. There are the uh, unit store offers, and then there are the unit offers. And so this was the first tier, the thousand unit tier of uh, the five star shards, the thousand six star shards, a tier two alpha, five tier four basic, etc. And then that actually grew to the next one, which goes up big time in price from 1,000 units to 4,000 units. So at this point, you're committing almost $200 worth of units. And that gets you a three tier two alpha, five tier four basic, six tier one alpha, a featured five-star crystal worth of five-star shards, 
uh, almost one third of a six star hero crystal, half of a tier five basic catalyst, 80 five star signature stones. When it says stones and not crystals, you know they're generic, 400,000 gold. And then that goes from 5,000 to 10,000, where you get the superior awakening bundle, where you had a choice between two offers that would become a tradition in 2020 a five star generic awakening gem or two six star hero crystals. A five-star rank-up gem from rank four to rank five. Again, that was a generic or uh, 50 six-star signature stones that were generics. Now, I do think in 2019, the guaranteed value was ridiculously skewed toward the superior awakening bundle of the five-star targeting because you got to take advantage of that generic rank four to rank five gem, uh, the awakening gem that was a generic as well, and 126 stones, whereas the superior rank-up bundle for six stars, because it didn't have an awakening gem, you were stuck. And you got 20,000 six-star hero crystal shards, which could have easily given you two terrible six-star champions, two tier five basics, which were already what was included in the rank-up gem for the same price as the five-star version, and 50 six-star signature stones, which really, if people went for it, it was for the six stones, which were so hard to get at that point. And really, they still are very difficult to get in the MCOC economy in 2020. So... The last thing was they added 3,000 more units and said, if you want an additional six-star crystal to pull that six-star iron package, give us another $100 worth of units. So I don't want us to focus on that, though, for the context of what's to come. I want us to focus on July 4th, 2020, and this was the Cavalier version of the progressive offers. A fully formed Tier 2 Alpha for 5 bucks plus 9,500 Tier 5 Basic. Unbelievable. And the gold was retail price of 50000 but like to get a tier two alpha for five bucks blew my mind. I still look at that and think about the normal offers every day and just shake my head. And then from there, you get the Star Lord's loot bag, which ditched the tier two alpha and instead replaced it with a featured five star crystal for 10 bucks featured and 3,500 more than a third of a six star hero crystal shard for 10 bucks. So if you bought three of them, you'd get a six star which is, was pretty amazing. A six-star crystal for 30 bucks was by far the cheapest we saw. Plus, of course, you get the units, and then you'd get three featured five-stars with it. Or if you bought all three, you'd get four-and-a-half basic five-star shards out of the deal. Not bad at all. Uh, then you go up to the Tony Stark's briefcase where you get 75% of a six-star hero crystal, and then the 20 plus five generic signature stones meaning that you could take a five star up 100 sigs or half of what they would be at max sig or 200 sigs with the 30 dollars purchase and then gold remained retail i always say retail price is 100,000 gold per 10 dollars united states spin of course that's assuming that your currency rate is the same as the dollar which for so many people watching this that's not the case for better or for worse and then you also have to include tax in so many areas from thirty dollars you jump to fifty dollars and this got you over a six star basic worth of crystal shards 20 six star signature stone crystals keyword crystal not the generics four tier two alpha and then some gold so you might notice already that the best deal for tier two alpha was the five dollar bundle if you're asking prof i don't have much money what should I do? Progress as far as you can, and then the $5 offer is still going to be amazing, even if that's all you can afford. Uh, 3,100 units, the All-Father Odin's Vault. This is where I just got freaking crazy. Broke everybody's brain. Six-star Nexus Crystal, which you would have to assume is at least coming back, uh, and we'll get into that more next week. For the Odin, Tier 5 Basic fully formed, and then an additional half, so one and a half Tier 5 Basic. 15% Tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragment Crystal, which was a disappointment. We're hoping that improves on Cyber Weekend, and then that was not all. You also got four plus five generic six-star signature stones, which was incredible. That's how much Kabam was charging at least $100 for on the average signature stone, quote-unquote, deal of 2020, and then some gold. And then this was the 1,000-unit offer, which I expect to also be a split this time. Again, you had the five-star or six-star path. Who are you targeting? 1,000 units got you half a Tier 5 basic and a five-star crystal Got you one-fourth of a six-star crystal with a 5% Tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragment Crystal. 5% is very pathetic. You expect that number to be much higher this time. And so there you have the specifics and all of their 
literal glory. And then it jumped just like it did the year before on Cyber Week in 2019 from 1,000 units to 4,000 units for a total price of 5,000 units for the first two levels. And those 4,000 units got you the five-star awakening gem, which was the generic that we saw the year before for 10,000 units. So literally a 6,000 unit decrease. 15,000 five-star hero crystal shards, 15 five-star plus fives, a five-star nexus hero crystal, which was the first time we had seen that for 4,000 units. The only thing about this one that was disappointing is that you did not get the rank up gem that you got in the previous holiday year of the rank four to rank five five star that some people were looking to target at that progression level and that price tag. Uh, the six star was, was again a huge risk other than the six stones because you just got a six star crystal, some gold, and then two uh, tier five 10% class catalyst fragment crystals of which the uh, algorithm is probably not going to give you the class that you are hoping and targeting, and it didn't certainly for me. And then uh, you go up to the 10,000 units of progression level. You got the uh, five-star rank-up gem that we just talked about, still saved for that progression level. 35-star plus five signature stones, three five-star nexus crystals, which was crazy. 10 tier two alphas, which was also crazy. Two tier five basics and 22,500 tier five basic califermans. So really two and a half tier five basic. Or the six star bundle. Again, class catalyst fragment crystals. Two six star hero crystal uh, basics worth of crystals. One six star rank up gem crystal. Notice it was a word crystal, not a generic. And 25 six star signature stones. Just like it was in 2019 with Cyber Weekend on July 4th, the better guaranteed value, which had less crystals, less chance, more choice, which is always the, the theory behind my channel this year, was the five-star version, though I went for the six-star and struck out. And then we had something very unique at the end of this, right? We had the 3,000 units, just like it was on Cyber Week in 2019 with an additional six-star, though this time it was a six-star Nexus, or for... In exchange for 3,000 units to pay essentially another $100, you got the six-star Awakening Gem Crystal. Again, keyword crystal, one out of six RNG. It's not a generic. And that got you for a total price tag of, I believe, 21,000 units or about $700 worth of units. The six-star Awakening Gem Crystal, I did opt for that. And I, of course, actually landed on some luck that day between getting Dr. Doom Awakened and getting uh, a class that I was targeting desperately, which was cosmic, I was able to awaken my Corvus as a six star. But all the uh, six star tier five class catalyst fragment crystal targeting were, were misses. So that is what we saw. We're already at over 12 minutes, which is much longer than my normal video. So we're going to stop this here. I'll be making another video in a few days with my wish list for what these will look like, but we're going to end this here. Uh, I hope that this meets the hope that we would review the highest progression levels I do expect as a preview to the next video that Thronebreaker will be its own progression level for rewards. This is the main reason why I think it felt kind of random that we had a new progression level this year, but it comes at a perfect time for them to make a heck of a lot more money, especially since we're not sure what the gifting event's going to look at uh, this year after all the fraud in 2019. Have a great rest of your day, YouTube. Thanks for watching.